All right, Boulevard Club, here we are at our beautiful club, the Sea of Green. We are here with club champions Andrew Wilkinson and Kyle Golding. Thank you very much, guys, for helping out. Lucky they were on court. I grabbed them, snagged them for some game situations. All of us are going to be in a situation in, in our phase one at least where you're either just playing singles with another player, could be the same household or not, but there's also a lot of drills we can do one-on-one -on -one that are doubles based. And so if you're not familiar with these, this is going to be uh, us showing you what you can do. So a very successful drill that, that has happened at all levels, all elite programs, is uh, playing box game, half court. So they're only going to play with not the entire half of the court. We're going to take away the front part of the court. We're going to take away the back part of the court. So kind of the singles elements. And we're just going to use the middle part. You could use it just with the box. Or you could also add the alley, in which case they're going to add the alley as well. Okay? So they're going to play both boxes and the side alley. Serving, you'll notice that Kyle is standing behind the line so that he doesn't expose the back as well. And returning uh, position, again, that depends on how comfortable you are. Here we go. Again, so you'll notice they're using their own shuttles, right? Andrew serves with his own. Oh, yeah. So I want you to pay attention to when they're rallying, how the hands are always out in front. There's a lot of grip changes happening. If they're in trouble, they might toss up the odd lift. But lifting is not a great strategy in this game because you can't lift to the back alley. So you can only lift short, essentially. So this is a game of flat shots. As a right-handed player, you're certainly going to lead more with your right leg as you're moving kind of mid-court and forward. When you're defending, you'll probably be a bit more open stance. Some right leg forward, some left leg forward, depending on the level of play. And again, just keep score. You know, winner keeps serving. You can play by time. You can play to 11, 21. Trash talk, have some fun. So see how the rally's starting. It was quality serve, quality push. The first four shots were serve and then quality pushes until someone gave up maybe a little too much height and the other person has the ability to attack. Yeah, push. Look at the quality pushes. Okay, so Kyle's counter push this time was even tighter. Harder to handle for Andrew. Too hot to handle. Nice, way to stay on top of the net. So you notice as soon as he comes forward, he, he goes back again. Having the mentality of being the back player in doubles. All right, so let's transition now to double box. Now here's where it gets really fun. Um, because now we're dealing with a much more width, I think you guys prefer without the alley. Yeah. So just the two giant boxes, you could play with the alley. Um, if they're not interested in playing with the alleys at their level, probably none of us should be doing with the alleys, otherwise we don't get long rallies. Front still out, back still out, side alleys out, only the two boxes, so you're now serving on a diagonal. Here we go. So now there's the element of cross court, right? Half court was all only up and back, up and back. Now there's the element of cross court. Here he is getting his own shuttle. See, we're already used to it. Just watch safety for safety reasons. Here we go. Serve diagonal. Gave up some height. Kyle attacked him. He survived. Good quality push. Here we go. Oh, he saved him. That was out. <laughs> nice rally. So you can see the pace is actually quite fast. Very good. A lot of patience here. This is going to help you develop the patience in doubles or a mix of, of not going cross court back to back to back. Hit your line shots. Hit a couple quality line shots before you even consider going cross court. And then when you open the court with a cross court, make sure you adjust your position. Don't cross court and stay on the other side. Oh, that's a nice back end. Oh, baby! He had it. Beautiful back end. Too beautiful. He was admiring it. Oh, good setup. Okay, so you can see as soon as Kyle hit this shot over here, he had something to work with. So he kind of inched forward on his next shot and then he had the potential drive. He went for the sharp cross. So you're looking to set up your point here. Here we go. Let's do one more rally. I'm liking this. Makes me want to play. Allison Tina, wave at the camera. Wave at the camera. Here we go. Nice flat pushes, quality. See how the swings are compact? They're not showing their shots to the last second. Last second acceleration. Oh, there's the last second cross. Control pushes, very nice. Very elegant. 
Okay, excellent guys. So again, here's some virtual high five. Yes, work on your virtual high fives. Here's a couple things you'll hopefully be able to apply. The half court singles, probably a good idea to include the alley. You don't have to. Um, the one thing we didn't address is if someone hits a net roll, we often count it. So if you hit a hard drive and it just hits the, the net shot and comes over, even though it's not in the, in the designated area, it's such a good shot, you don't want to penalize a, a net roll. So we tend to typically uh, include those fist pump shot, okay? And then the double box requires more moving, but it becomes, it really gets you to move and cover the whole court because you don't have time to hit and just hang around. You have to hit and adjust right away. Gentlemen, thank you very much for, for the demos. I love it. I'm inspired. I'm ready to play. We will see you guys on the court soon.